Good afternoon everybody. How you doing out there in YouTube land? Well, there's a couple of things I'm trying here. Uh, way back in the 90s, I told you this before, um, I had a good buddy of mine. He died very young at age 52 of cancer, but that's beside the point. He was a computer whiz, and that guy had could, could do anything on a computer. Linux, you name it. He had like four computers with four different operating systems on them. And uh, he was very heavy into DOS, and uh, of course he worked at a big company that he worked with mainframe computers and stuff like that, stuff that I don't even understand. We became good buddies. He taught me a lot, but it goes in and it just doesn't sink in like everything else. It just don't, I can't grasp things. I have a difficult time grasping things. I have to actually be shown, I have to actually have somebody sitting right with me to show me how to use something. Well, anyways, I'm going to be playing around with this um, Toshiba 305 CDS computer once again because for the last two days it's been raining and I can't do anything outside anyhow. So, uh, rainy days are good for computers. <laughs> Um, I want to play around with DOS. I'm trying to get rid of that Norton that's in there. There's a directory call, like I can't pronounce it, Simtronics or some such thing. It's the software for uh, Norton. This happens to be the Norton um, corporate or something because this computer uh, belonged to a uh, company at one time. So anyways, um, <clears throat> I can't remove it with the add, move, add and remove programs. It just it just goes to the motions and when it gets to the uh, part where you want to remove it it just sits there and it's 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 in there you just cannot get rid of it it's not a big deal I just hit any key and continue uh, I've already tried to get USBs to work and that don't work but I appreciate the help anyhow so what I'm gonna try to do is try to uh, get rid of that uh, program in DOS um, I like I say years and years ago I used to play when I had a 286 uh, model 50z IBM I used to play on DOS quite a bit and uh, even on Windows 95 I used to have DOS games I'm not much of a gamer but I did have a couple of them um, I used to horse around with and um, I used to be able to manipulate a little bit in DOS but not too much I'm going to try to remove that folder, but I doubt I'll be able to. I looked on YouTube and there is no tutorials on how to um, uh, work in DOS. Uh, there's, there are some, but not deleting anything. You want to delete something in there. Uh, there's no tutorials on that. I looked. I've been spending quite a bit of time. So I want to just for if for, and nothing else if for entertainment purposes only. In addition to that, thanks to one of my uh, subscribers, and I, and I can't recall his name right now, uh, I'm going to try to put this video into Sony Movie Studio 13. It's a very difficult program for me to use, but if I can keep the video short, I might be able to edit it. If not, then I might not be able to. I'll give it a try. Um, if you're watching this now and I got the usual Windows Movie Maker look, then you know I didn't succeed with that. Enough talking. Let's get started on I got it connected up to my computer monitor, the big LCD screen. And uh, so we're going to boot it up now and let's get started on this video. Not the greatest of lighting here. Okay, we're going to start this now. Okay, we're on the big screen here. I'm using the Kodak ZE-1, which is fixed focus. Okay, now we. this is what I'm trying to get rid of. Uh, Sim... Simtanic, I guess it is. This is the one I was told is... Um, I guess it's the company that makes um, Norton. Um, I can't remove it any other way. I'm going to try to go into DOS, but first of all, I want to hit any key to continue. Okay, she's starting up now. Uh, 
at least with this monitor that I can at least follow the mouse pointer it disappears completely otherwise hmm I don't know what happened to my Windows 98 up here that I had disappeared. I'm not going to worry about it. Okay, now what I'm going to do first of all is I'm going to go through the add and remove programs. <clears throat> Start menu. Uh, settings. Control panel. I gotta make this bigger. I need it as big as I can get it here. Add and remove programs, which is right here. Open. All right, now let's get this up here where you can see it. Okay, now I did this about five or six times. It's still in here. Um, there's a pen here to mark it. All right. Norton, I don't know if you can read that. Norton Antivirus, Corp Antivirus Corporate Edition. How many times have I kept trying to remove that? All right. Damn, mouse still don't want to. There's ball mice. I think a lot of it's, um, you know, I'm used to using the um, the laser ones. Okay. Of a slow thing, isn't it? Okay, all right. They got the wizard to uh, remove the Norton Antivirus Corporate Edition. Okay, so we go to next. Now you got the reinstall or the repair. So I always go on the repair. So you go, this is as far as this thing will go. You click on this. And that's it. It does nothing more. Click on it. Nothing. Nothing. Okay. I'm going to wait. It is 5.05 p.m. right now by the timer here. I'm going to come back on this video in five minutes from now. In five minutes, if this don't do anything then, uh, you know, I used to let it stay for like a couple minutes. We're going to wait five minutes. Okay, it's 5.10 p.m. I don't know if you can see that. I got the magnifying glass up here. It's 5.10 p.m. In other words, five minutes has gone by. We're still up here. Nothing's changed. So I click it again, nothing. So we'll just close that out. It says you want to cancel. Well, I'm going to have to because it won't work. So, we'll close it, finish, and um, it, I'm sure it's still there. This damn mouse pointer keeps sticking on me. Uh, yep, it's still there. So, Okay, now we'll go to, as I recall, go to Programs, MS-DOS Prompt, okay. So now the only thing I remember from my DOS days is CD got to pay attention. i got to do it slow, otherwise I'll mistype. C, D, and the period. Where the hell is the dot? Where the hell is the... Hang on a minute. Oh, here it is. Dot, dot. Okay. S How the hell did I get two CD? Ah, this is aggravating. I'm trying to do it right-handed. I'm left-handed anyway, so I'll hold the camera in the uh, other hand. C, D dot dot enter okay so cd uh, i remember from my buddy telling me cd means change directory 
then the two periods. Okay, so now I'm at the MS-DOS prompt. Now, the only thing I remember to do from here is type in DIR for directory and hit enter. Okay, D I R enter. Okay, here is my here is my um DOS uh, directory. Up on the top it says Pogoda. That must be a shortcut a shortness uh for programs. Then the squiggle, I don't know what the one is. There's a D here, a D-I-R for directory, um, program files. Now, what I wanted to do, and I was was not successful in doing, is to do a directory on the program files. Then if I can do a directory on the program files, uh, then I can find that symphonic or whatever you call it, and delete it. But then again, I don't remember how to delete it. Uh, there's a lot I've forgotten. So what I'm going to try to do here, and I did it before, is type in P-R-O-G-R-A squiggle 1. It's going gonna, it's gonna to give me a bad command, but I'm going to try it. So we're going to try it. We're going to do that now, and I'll do that off camera. What I'm going to do is type in P R O. G R A squiggle and then the number one. Okay, if you look down here, I got it. P R O G R A. No, that isn't either. It's not a squiggle. It's a apostrophe or a comma or something. All right, hang on a minute. Okay, now if you can see that through the magnifying glass. Here it is, the same thing that was written on the top of the screen. The same thing as this. Okay. Now, I tried this before, and it gave an invalid directory or something. So, if I type in, i put a space there, and type in D-I-R. Okay. Now I got DIR for directory. Now this, is, other than this, I have no idea how to break this down so that I can, it says program files over here. Okay, but I need to know what the program files are. There's more than one in here. So I can get that symphonic out of there. Okay, which in other words, Norton, whatever. So, okay, I'm gonna hit enter. And watch the screen, it's gonna be invalid, I'm sure. Yep, bad command or line. I knew that was going to happen. I'm just playing around with it. I'm trying to figure out how to make this scroll. You can't use the mouse because actually the mouse is still working. But I don't have a, um, a wheel on the mouse anyways. It's funny, the mouse is still working in DOS. Of course, Windows is still up too. Uh, so I don't know how I'm supposed to get that. And then um, I have typed in that symphonic thing, uh, that name. I, I, I could be saying it wrong. I call it symphonic. I, I, I sem attack or some such thing like that. That's the Norton program here that uh, is you cannot uninstall it. So I figured if I can delete the directory, then I could probably get rid of it. But that's all I remember from DOS. It's just been too many years, and I didn't. I wasn't really good at it. Very very little I did with it. But uh, I've lost what little knowledge I got, or I had. So the only thing I can do, since I can't scroll and look back up here again, is I'll type in dir, and you just watch the screen here, D-I-R, and I'll hit enter, and now it brings it back. That's the only way I can get this back here, okay? So we're back, we're still on the C, C prompt, but... um. 
maybe, I don't know, maybe I haven't tried starting this computer in MS-DOS. I don't know how to do that. I don't think that gives that an option. The computer just starts up, so it starts up in Windows, so. Um, you know, a buddy of mine, he, he used to do all this autoexec dot command and all that. Uh, he, he, you know, he used to... He used to know all this, you know, well, like I say, he's gone now, but he was an expert at this stuff. He, he could type, so he was 400 pounds. I'm not kidding you. He was 400 pounds, but he um, he had big, big hands. And this guy here could type on his computer so damn fast that it wouldn't, the computer could, wouldn't even show it up. He'd go, and... Then after a fraction of a second later, all the all the uh, stuff you type all this stuff out, and me, I have to go boom, 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 you know. <laughs> and I still do typos. Well, anyways, I'm gonna close this out. I'm gonna see if I can start in the MS DOS prompt, but I don't know. Shut down. Okay, yeah, I can do that. Let me try that. The question is, how am I going to get out of it? If I can't get out of it, I'll have to pull the uh, power. Hold the power button in. Here we go. We're going to start in MS-DOS. Maybe that has to be. Maybe I can do better that way. So I do know that Windows, okay, now we're on the MS DOS prompt. So now I'm going to do the same dir on here. D I R Enter. Hmm. There's a whole bunch of stuff in here now. Oh, wow. No. How the hell do we scroll it? You don't. This stuff just went by. Let's see if I can find that Symmetech. Or, or whatever you call it. It's not here. It might be up there. But how am I going to get to read the beginning of this? Been too many years. Been too many years. I'm sure some of you people out there will tell me how to do it, and I'll get more confused than ever. It's just something to play with on a rainy day. I'm doing the up and down arrows, because I know the mouse won't work. And the only thing the up and down arrows goes is I go down arrow, it takes the dirt away. I go up arrow, it puts the dirt back in there again. Let's see if the left and right will work. Well, it moves the... It moves the cursor left and right up arrow doesn't do anything down arrow takes the dir out that I typed in there so there's no way to there's no way to uh, do that oh well I can't get back into Windows it says Windows there I'm hitting enter nope well that was a screw up if I don't look at the keyboard, I hit two keys at once. So I gotta have my eyes on the keyboard at all times. And I look down, make sure I'm on top of the right key here. Nope. All right, so you know what we do? We shut it off. And we restart it. Hopefully it starts in Windows. Good. But it'll probably do a scan disk because I probably shut down incorrectly. But then again, maybe it won't because it was in DOS to begin with. Well, there it is. I can't get rid of that Pagoda Similac, whatever the hell you call it. Uh, I can't get rid of that. So I'm going to have to live with it. Okay, we're back on again. Like I say, I'm going to run, try to run this program into, into um, the new Sony program that we bought for $25 at Target. Uh, but if, if it's too much of a, a hassle, I won't. I'll use Windows Movie Maker. Um, 
Well, we're back on the uh, desktop. I don't know what happened to my Windows 98 uh, logo here because I did have it in there. I didn't change the background again. Um, I unsuccessfully uh, tried to put in a uh, USB mass card reader or something in here. Uh, oh, this mouse is terrible. Another thing I was going to do, this is Windows 98. I The other day, um, I was going to put in Windows 98 SE, or try to. Maybe that would get the USB to work, because I don't think Windows 98 has a USB. Uh, this computer is too old for it. I, I got uh, one of my... Uh, uh, viewers uh, gave me a website to go to for USB mass storage devices and um, I got downloaded it and put it in on by way of CD here I burned it on a CD and in, in this computer and then put it in here uh, but uh, it won't work you put a, a disk in there and uh, you know a dry a, a CD a, a USB in here and it doesn't uh, it doesn't have the drivers for it. So I figured if I put in Windows 98 SE, um, it would work. Oh, um, I have a Windows 98 that was given to me uh, by another uh, one of my viewers, but I couldn't read the handwriting on his, uh, on the key code. So I put the tried to put the key code in. It wouldn't. There was an invalid key code, and I tried. I couldn't read the, the G or what it, what it was, and a couple other letters. I couldn't read his handwriting. So I um, was unsuccessful in putting that in. Uh, I don't know if this computer, being that it's only got 32 um, megabytes of RAM, would even work in Windows 98 SE. And I don't want to play around with this too much. It's a, it's something to play around with, but um, there's only so much you can do with something this old. Anyways, I'm going to try to edit this video. Hey, Dad! Hackbar's at the window! He wants to come in! 